Hi, I'm Angela Pirelli with EXP Realty. Today we are actually at Honey Bun Cafe and this is Jocelyn. So she's gonna tell us a little bit about the store and everything that you can expect. Thank you so much for meeting with me. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So what can you tell us about Honey Bun? How long have you guys been here? How did it get started? So we've been here almost nine years. It's creeping up to our nine year anniversary, which just flew by. And it was always kind of my side hustle. I always really enjoyed feeding people. I went to school at George Brown in Toronto for my chef certificate. And after that, I just couldn't shake the need to continue with my baking and with being in the industry. So about nine years ago, we opened up and we concentrate on breakfast and lunch. We're considered a cafe bakery. We do handcrafted espresso beverages and our most popular item would have to be cinnamon buns. That's my weakness. I love them. They're so good. People love them yeah. and we do them very traditionally. All of our baking is done in-house and a lot of our baking is stuff that you would have grown up with going to grandma's house. So what brought you back to Saskatoon then? If you're doing school out there, some people want to kind of stay big city. Yeah, no, I'm not a big city person <laughs> at all. Fair. I grew up on a farm about three and a half hours south and I have a lot of family around here. So I always just wanted to be in Saskatchewan. That makes sense, yeah. definitely. What about the name? How did you decide on the Honey Bun name? The Honey Bun name just kind of snuck up on me. Once I heard it and ran it by a few people, they were just, it's easy to remember and it mm -hmm. just makes you feel comfortable and at home it's just kind of a tasty word and so it is yeah it's we... very good so somebody's gonna pop in for breakfast what kind of things can they expect to find a popular item are stuffed buns we feature a breakfast stuffed bun and then we have a variety of lunch stuffed buns nice. and so that's where every morning we make this fresh dough and we fill it with different things like pulled pork or pepperoni pizza or roasted veggies and then we warm it into a bun and bake them and people have that just as a quick grab and go option Oh, it'd be so convenient. It is. They're kept warm and you just pop it and grab it with a side super salad. We rotate soup and salad every day. That's lunch. actually something, again, like you said, growing up on. That's something my aunt used to always make. We'd go to her place for an evening or something and she'd pull out these different buns that she'd stuff with ground beef or whatever it was. Yes, ground so beef good. and cabbage is a popular yes. one in Saskatchewan. Yeah. And, you know, it seems like a lot of different nationalities, a lot of people with the different backgrounds have their own version of a stuffed bun. Okay. And the dough varies and the fillings vary. And so it's just a really neat thing that people kind of, it reminds people of home a lot. Oh, I love that. So what are your hours generally? Currently we're open eight to five. Five, Monday to Friday, mm -hmm. and then nine to four on Saturdays. Okay. We're early morning people. We're here baking in the night, so. And I see that you've obviously got like take home goods as far as baked and things. And there's a few other things around the store. Is that soup that I see? Yeah, we okay. have frozen items. So yeah. you can buy a package of four frozen buns. You can buy frozen cinnamon buns and also frozen soups. So frozen soup is always in a liter and it's $7. We also do a lot of catering. So we do oh, a lot of know. dessert trays. Yep. We do little box lunches, cinnamon buns and muffins, scones, loaves, those kind of trays. Yeah. So we do a lot of a lot of that. Well, and that's a, I was just going to ask if there's something people might not know, and that's probably one of the things um, that they might. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we really we cater to each individual person that wants to give us a call and figure out like they have something to cater. We can we're really flexible. We can create something just for them. So if somebody calls in with dietary restrictions. Do you have some options? I know gluten's a big one when you're dealing with a bakery. I'm well, sure you hear. Big it. one. Yeah. <laughs> so we always have a couple of gluten friendly items. We have, yeah, like one or two desserts and mm -hmm. we always have a muffin available, a couple of other items. Also our soups, their soup and salad will also be one of them, even though they rotate, will be vegetarian. Since COVID, we've gotten into keto desserts. Oh, nice. So we always have keto desserts available, at least two different varieties, mm -hmm. and that is low carb, sugar free. And then we also carry a few vegan items. Oh, there we go. So you yeah. pretty much cover it all. We try. Yeah, absolutely. We do a lot of specialty order like diabetic birthday cakes, mm -hmm. cupcakes, things like that. We do oh, a lot of sugar-free baking. And people don't know that about us, especially since getting into keto baking, we've really expanded our sugar-free horizon. Is there anything else you want to touch on that we maybe missed? No, I think that, yeah. Yeah, I Matt, think we touched so on chatty. that. It was good. Well, if you haven't been into Honey Bun, you have to come and check it out. They've got some amazing food in here. The ambiance is just really inviting and comfortable. So come say hi to Jocelyn, any of the workers that are around, and come enjoy a good cinnamon bun or some baking. And thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.